Hey everyone, let's make a popular Malaysian tea time snack. Chucho udang but vegan. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, and so addictive. Chucho udang translates to prawn fritters. We're not going to use prawns of course, but we still want that taste of the sea flavor. To get this, we're going to use a sheet of seaweed or nori. Tear it up and place it in a small blender or spice grinder. You could also use a mortar and pestle to grind it into little flakes. Set it aside. Let's prep all the veggies that's going to go into the batter. First, let's slice a large red chili and an optional bird's eye chili. Then get a small red onion, cut it in half and let's finely slice that as well. Next, we're going to shred half a carrot with a box grater. You could also cut them manually into thin strips. Let's get some green onions or spring onions and chop them into long pieces. The last thing we need is half a cup of bean sprouts or tauge in Malay. Remove the root at the end and that's all we need to do to prep them. For the batter, we're going to use a mix of all-purpose flour and rice flour. This mix will give the fritters a really nice crunch. Place 280 grams of all-purpose flour into a large bowl. Oops, missed a little bit right there. Add in 75 grams of rice flour, then 1 teaspoon of turmeric, 2 teaspoons of mushroom seasoning, and 1 tablespoon of vegan kombu dashi powder to give it some extra oceany flavor. Top it off with the seaweed flakes we blended earlier. Give all the dry ingredients a mix to incorporate everything through. Let's not forget the salt, which I almost did. This is 2 teaspoons. Now we can add our shredded carrots in. Then the bean sprouts, red onion, chilies, and green onions. Mix the vegetables into the flour to coat everything in white. To give the fritters an extra burst of flavor and meaty bite, let's use some oyster mushrooms. Tear them into thin strips like this. This is about two large clusters of mushrooms. Now we can add in two and a half cups of water or 750 ml. Mix until it comes together to a batter that's not too thick and not too runny either. You may need to use less water or a bit more depending on the brand of flour. If you accidentally use too much water, just sprinkle in a bit of flour and it'll be just fine. Now let's just let the batter rest for about 10 minutes while we get our oil ready. I'm using a small wok. You could also use a pot, Dutch oven, or deep fryer for this. Once the temperature hits 185 degrees Celsius, gently pour the batter into the hot oil with the ladle. We want to move the ladle as we pour to get a thinner fritter for maximum surface area and crunch. Flip the fritters halfway and cook until a deep golden brown color is achieved. Retrieve the fritters from the oil and let it drain on a wire rack set over some kitchen towel. Once it's cooled down slightly, transfer to a chopping board. When you buy chuchu udang in Malaysia from a stall at the market, it's usually cut into smaller pieces to make it easier to eat on the go. So let's cut it in half and then into quarters. Or enjoy them whole, there are no rules. Serve the chucho immediately with the peanut sauce dip or Thai chili sauce dip. To find out how to make peanut sauce or Thai chili sauce, watch these videos right here and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.